Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel the breathing as you breathe in and out. And ask yourself if it's comfortable. If it is, keep it up. If it's not, you can change the rhythm. You can make it faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. Try to find what feels best for the body right now. It provides a sensation that it's easy to stay with. Because as you're training the mind in this way, it's nourishing for the mind. You get a sense of well-being in the body. It makes it a lot easier to stay here in the present moment to see what's going on in the present moment. But also you'll find that having a sense of well-being that comes from inside is a very arresting form of well-being, a resting form of nourishment for the mind. Because the mind is like the body, it needs to feed. It feeds on sensory input, it feeds on awareness, and it feeds on its intentions. And so you want to make sure your intentions are good, which is why you want to stay right here to watch them as they come up. And you provide yourself with a good intention to ward off the bad ones. The good intention is to be generous, to be virtuous, and to gain some control over your mind. And that's what we're doing as we meditate. We're getting some control. If something wanders off, then you just bring it right back. Wanders off again, bring it back again. And remind yourself that this is really good food, a sense of well-being that comes from inside that has, has none of the drawbacks that happiness outside can often have. Because all too often, the way, the way we look for happiness outside, we gain, somebody else loses. Or if we don't get what we want, somebody else gains. There's cause for division. And this is one of the reasons why there's so much conflict in society, is people are looking for their nourishment outside. And they're fighting over what kind of nourishment they're going to get. Whereas you realize you've got this territory inside. As John Lee says, it's like having your own property. We've been spending too much time focusing on other people's property and not clearing the weeds out of our own property and planting it with good food. But here's your opportunity. Have a sense of well-being as you breathe in, breathe out. You can carry that with you wherever you go. And then as you look at different ways of looking for happiness in the world, you find that some are attractive because they come fast. But you don't want to think about the consequences over the long term. But if you're really wise, you say, I can't fall for those things. But if there's no sense of well-being inside to fall back on, then you will fall for the others. You fall one way or the other. So give yourself something good inside. That way you're a lot less tempted to go for the, the quick fix. And you're willing to look in terms of the long term. As the Buddha said, this is what wisdom begins with. The question, what when I do it will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness. The wisdom there is that there is such a thing as long-term happiness, and that's better than short-term. And it's going to depend on your actions. Where do your actions come from? They come from the mind. So you want to make sure the mind is trained, so it does go for the long-term. In the meantime, you provide it with a sense of well-being inside. It makes it a lot easier to focus on the long-term and not insist on immediate gratification. This way, your search for happiness in the world doesn't cause any trouble to anybody, because you're looking in your own territory, making the most of your own territory. And it's not happiness that anybody's going to try to take away from you. They may privatize all kinds of things, but they can't privatize how you experience the body from within. And that's entirely up to you. And there's a wide range of possibilities right here, a wide range of potentials. This is what the Buddha discovered, that there's a potential for a true happiness, a lasting happiness, in this territory inside you. So focus in here. Plant your crops in here, and you'll have good food that no one will take away from you.